just realized that I actually cut this out to be the right side. Like I used, I flipped the pattern piece the wrong way. Hey guys, welcome to the video. So um, today I'm going to show how to make a patchwork denim jacket. Honestly, it was super fun to make and it was one of the first things I made from scratch. So that's really cool. Um, I did watch a few videos before this, so I just wanted to mention that um, like a few months ago before I even had a sewing machine. So I've wanted to do this project for a long time. Anyway, so I saw Megan Weller do a video on it and also her name's April and she does amazing sewing stuff on her channel. Also, the same person did a video on how to make like a patterns out of your old clothes so that was super cool super helpful um and definitely took stuff away from that and applied it to what you're gonna see me making a pattern out of the jacket that i used so i hope you enjoy this video i hope you find it helpful i hope it inspires you let's get on to the video now <laughs> also sorry for the delay in posting um i literally just finished this jacket yesterday night so um i was trying to get it on time took some brainstorming and stuff so I apologize it did not come out like a week from the last one. <laughs> I ended up flipping over the one pattern piece to make for the front to make sure it was symmetrical, also because I messed up on cutting out the other one. It might make more sense to do this before cutting it out, but I was just lining up the front and back pieces. Still wasn't perfectly lined up. But with like seam allowance and stuff and the sleeves and everything. But I decided with seam allowance it would be fine. So just choose your pockets and then also you can plan out where you want them to be on the jacket. Here I kind of just drew out the whole jacket and what I wanted it to look like. Let's tape down the sides so that I can like cut out the pieces and like lay them out and plan it out and stuff because without it rolling up. I tried putting it under like boxes, but it didn't really work, so that's why I'm using the tape. So I've cut my pieces out and now it's time to pin it. So these are actually the jeans that I used to practice on how to rip denim. I had a pin so I used safety pins. And then you're just gonna um, sew the pieces together. So you could do right sides together if you wanted to have like um, a clean edge, I guess. But then you could do this if you wanted and then you could like distress the edges. Um, I guess for more of like a patchworky type vibe, but it doesn't matter. You could, you could do it. What I'm kind of doing just for this piece is kind of just following along um, this, this sew it. The first, um, piece that I've sewn is looking like, um, I'm probably gonna cut this off or distress it or something. I'll figure it out. But I tried to use, like, a similar color thread to the wash of the jeans, but if you wanted, you could also do a contrasting color. I ended up using the same dark blue thread over everything, except for the black jeans. I use, I switched it to black thread. Okay, and for 
for ones like this where now I need to turn the fabric, you're just gonna have your needle down. Lift the presser foot and turn the fabric so that you have it like on a 90 degree angle. And then you're just gonna continue sewing. Some pieces are really thick to sew over. So I'd say just skip those. If you can, you can maybe go back and like hand sew it or whatever. So I've sewn this, I flipped the fabric and I'm gonna, sew, or turn it around and I'm gonna sew this part and then just, I'm gonna skip this part for now. Just, I don't wanna break a needle. Um, if you have like a denim needle, specifically for denim it might be okay but i'm not sure on that i just want to get a vision for it i don't think i haven't even pinned it together or anything um because i need to still take the panels on the pattern piece and cut them uh also i haven't sewn this on yet i'm gonna do it at the end when i cut off like the excess and stuff to make sure that it's like symmetrical with the other one there's some overlap so I'm just gonna cut that off. So you're just gonna place the pattern piece on top of the fabric and just cut out the shape a little bit more accurately. I realized that I actually cut this out to be the right side. Like I used, I flipped the pattern piece the wrong way. So that sucks. Um, but so I'm gonna try to put like a piece here and try to fix it because I totally screwed. Anyway, um, the way I cut it out, my seam's gonna be facing outward. Um, on the actual jean jacket I own, it was facing inward, so it's up to you what you do. So when you're making this, you have to have the wrong side to the pattern because you're going to fold it over. My original seam allowance was like an inch, but I sewed maybe like a quarter of an inch. Not sure how, um, what the size it actually is. But just a small one so that I would have like a more baggier fit for the jacket when it's done. Also, I went over it twice just to make sure that it's really strong. Sew up the side. Then you're going to sew up here for the vest. And once you're done that, you're going to have um, both like your front and back piece inside out along with the sleeve. And then you're going to pin it and sew that as well. I recommend trying it on to make sure that the shoulder's right and also comparing it to your original so, jean jacket. Um, I've just pinned the collar here to give myself an idea. Um, there's still, I still have this part attached, but I'll cut that off because um, you could do this if you wanted, but well, my collar is actually too short to do it anyway, but so like that, just because it's like an oversized look. So there's still like a button here, so I had to cut that off. Um, and then, um, if you can see, there's like a hole here for a button, so I have to take the button off um, this part. It's like underneath, and then sew it on there so I can, but yeah. Just a warning, the pockets aren't symmetrical, so if that bothers you, I'm sorry. Overall, this was just like a super fun experience and it was just kind of cool to like make something from scratch. I've never done that before. Um, I don't have like tons of sewing experience to be honest. I got um, a sewing machine for my birthday. If you think this project looked cool or interests you, I would say just go for it. You got this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Have an amazing day. See you guys later.